semaphores are visual signals and are a clear and direct impression of your situation. When a number, like 82, is climbing to 84 in a data-driven presentation, you probably don't notice it updating. But when you would analyze your critical conditions and use colors, for example, then a change from green to red will get your immediate attention. That is why semaphores are great. A semaphore is a direct representation of your data where you immediately see what the status it is in. Let's work out together an example where we use traffic lights to represent the condition of our stock of products that we have in our factory or shop. We have an Excel document with our products and its current stock. Next to that, we know when our stock becomes critical so that we have to order or fabricate additional items. So here we have the in stock column and the reorder level. So in stock is what we have in stock in our factory. And when we reach the reorder level, we are ordering new products from our supplier. So what I need here is a new column for the condition. So where we can evaluate the in stock compared to the reorder level. So I use the if statement in Excel and I compare this cell with the other one. If the in stock is less than the reorder level, then we have a problem. I'm displaying the code or the text red here in this case. Furthermore, we are checking if the values are equal. Then we have a warning signal out and we display the orange value. Otherwise, the situation is safe and we display green. We copy the information down for all products and save the Excel file. So we are now ready for the Excel file and we are moving over to PowerPoint to create a data-driven presentation. So I'm using data point here, click list, going to the Excel file, I add a connection, I browse to my file, here it is, and I click to open. I have to add the connection to the sheet. Here I see a list of old sheets that I have in the Excel file. I see here that I need to use the products sheet. I'm going back to see what my range is and I see A1 to I10. And the first row contains the field names. I'm clicking OK and I see a preview of the data here. Click OK. And now we can you start using the information. I click insert pictures. I just insert a default one, red here. It's a normal picture. I place it on the slide and then I go to data point to make it dynamic. I click pictures. I'm converting this into a dynamic data point picture choosing the condition text. The condition text is displaying or returning the file name only. So I have to set the folder and the extension of the file name. And you can see in the preview that it's formulating the uh, path to the file. So now we have linked the green traffic light to our first product. Now we need to add a text box where we can display the product name. So I copy this text. I'm placing it next to the traffic light. And now I'm going to assign the product name in data point. So I click text box and for the column, I select product name to be linked. And now this text box is linked to the product name. When I run the slideshow now, it will display the current information of my Excel file. So when I change the Excel file, the information is reflected on the slideshow. 
But we have more products than just one. So I'm going back into design and I'm clicking the scrolling button. I enable scrolling for this connection. I leave the step size at one, one product at a time. And I want to display it for five seconds long. Okay, so when I now rerun my slideshow, I will see five seconds long the first product, then five seconds the second product, and so on, till all products are displayed. Okay, let's end this. So this is for a data-driven presentation. I can display this on my desktop. I can display this in a factory to display the information in a real-time PowerPoint slideshow. Sometimes you don't want to show it on a live monitor and you want to send out the presentation to your colleagues. So that's why we have a snapshot presentation. So we go back into design and we click the snapshot, which will create a new presentation with the latest information, but then it will disconnect from the data source and it will generate as many slides as there are products in the Excel file so that we have this nice overview.